Welcome to the TVHS News for the week of February 2nd. My name is Christian. And I'm Austin. Let's get started. In world news, mosquitoes are spreading the Zika virus very rapidly throughout the Americas, from Argentina to the southern U.S. This virus causes mild symptoms such as a fever, rash, and joint pain. However, women are being cautioned to avoid pregnancy in these regions because the virus causes a rare autoimmune disorder that can lead to life-threatening paralysis for their children. Eight people were arrested and one killed in Oregon after police brought the standoff at Meliora National Wildlife Refuge to a halt. Greg Bretzing, the special agent in charge of the standoff, stated that the FBI attempted to resolve the conflict peacefully, but Amon Bundy's group refused. The FBI is still sweeping the refuge for armed occupiers. Now the Collins with this week's Word of the Week. Welcome to the Word of the Week. My name is Collins. This week's word is iconoclast. It is a noun, and here's what it means. A person who attacks cherished beliefs or institutions. Here's how you use it in a sentence. We didn't want to take Uncle Tom to dinner because he is such an iconoclast and he would only ruin Christmas for the kids. Poor kids. Not a Morgan with This Week in History. created by Ruth Handler, one of the founders of Mattel. Fun fact, every three seconds a Barbie is sold. If we're not careful, we really will be living in a Barbie world. Now to this week with Kirby's Corner. Kirby's Corner. That's me. Good morning, Tonal Pond. Welcome back to another wonderful week. I have a couple announcements, so please listen closely. On Wednesday, a representative from Australia Mountain Community College will be here to talk to anyone who wants to learn about financial aid options and scholarships and loans. It is open to anyone going to any college, any grade level. So check your email, sign up for that if you want to learn some things. On February 5th, which is Friday, a representative for Grand Canyon University will be here. She will only be speaking to seniors that day, so check your email on that as well. Uh, looking ahead to Saturday, if you signed up for the ACT, it is not here. There wasn't enough signed up, so they had to reschedule your test. Most of you will probably be testing at Yonker, so please check your real mail for your new test ticket. Uh, you could probably print a new ticket online, too. Just saying. So, see me if you have questions about that. On February 9th, which is next Tuesday, the ASVAB scores will be distributed to everyone who took that. So that's mostly juniors, a couple seniors, maybe a couple sophomores. If you took the ASVAB, you will get your test score on Tuesday along with an explanation of your score. Also that night, we have the FAFSA completion for any senior who's going to college. So 6 o'clock on February, what did I say, February 9th, you all should be there to get your FAFSA done. Oh, and before I forget, this week we have a sectional... I don't know if it's called a tournament, whatever it is. Lots of basketball games going on, lots of people on our campus. So come out, show them what we're all about, how wonderful you all are, and um, watch the basketball in the meantime. Have a great week, you guys. Thank you, Miss Carby. Students, this Wednesday is an early release. And remember, be safe, be responsible, and be respectful in everything that you do. Keep, Keep it fresh, don't the paw. between a piano, a tuna, and a pot of blue. I don't know. What is it? You can tune a piano, but you can't piano a tuna. <laughs> what about the glue? I knew you'd get stuck on that. That's hilarious. 